Hi, I'm Sasha. My two favourite things about Easter are chocolate and hot cross buns, but I find the plain ones I buy in the shops a little too boring, so I've created these apple and cinnamon ones, and if you make them, I promise they won't last long. To make 16, you're going to use 625 grams of strong white bread flour, 75 grams of caster sugar, two teaspoons of mixed spice and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. 50 grams of butter, which I'll be melting. One packet of active dried yeast and a pinch of sugar and 125 milliliters of hand hot water. 250 milliliters of whole milk. 100 grams of sultanas. And lastly, a firm apple. I'm using a Granny Smith here. First off, activate the yeast in the warm water. Pop it in, give it a quick mix round and then leave it aside for about 10 minutes to foam up. I'm going to use a sieve to sift all the dry ingredients into a large bowl. Now it's time to put everything else in except for the apple. Now I'm going to use the dough hook attachment on my stand mixer and it'll need for about five minutes. If you don't have one of those, you can do it by hand, but it'll take around ten. Whilst that's kneading, I'm going to peel, core and dice my apple. After it's been kneading for five minutes, I'm going to turn it out onto a floured surface and knead my apple in by hand. Now I'm going to roll it into a sausage shape. When I've achieved my sausage shape, I'm going to start chopping into chunks at roughly about 80 to 82 grams in weight. And that'll make my 16 hot cross buns. Great, that's the first one done. Roll it into a ball in your hands. Because that's going to be our first hot cross bun. And now on to the next one. That's my last one rolled. Get them onto a baking tray, nicely spread out. On this size tray, I can get eight in one go. Now loosely cover them over with cling wrap and then get them somewhere warm to rise. They should double in size over the hour. Okay, let's take a look and see how they've risen. Fantastic. I would say they're about doubled in size there. So that leaves me now to get the crosses on. So what I've done in this bag here, I've got three parts of plain flour to two parts of water. Give it a good mix around and then put it in a Ziploc bag because I'm going to use this like a piping bag for my process. Okay, these are ready to go straight into a preheated oven at 200 Celsius. After 10 minutes of cooking, we're going to cover them over with parchment paper and continue cooking for about another five minutes. Just before they come out of the oven, I'm going to make a simple sugar glaze. I've got three tablespoons of caster sugar, three tablespoons of water. I'm going to heat this up and simmer it for about a minute. Just look at those. That leaves me with one thing left to do, and that's glaze them with my sugar coating.
allow them to cool for a short time, but definitely enjoy them whilst they're still warm. These are so yummy, I have no idea why we only make them at Easter. If you've enjoyed watching me make this, then please subscribe to my channel and come back for seconds.